Dr. Kanenje, you can just also update us. I know there was a round table uh, that was happening in an hotel here in Nairobi uh, where you had uh, the Ukrainian embassy and Russian embassy uh, meeting to discuss also the effect of uh, the Ukrainian war here. Uh, Ukrainian war, how it affects also the whole of Africa. You can just tell us a bit about that. Yeah. Uh yeah, thanks, uh, you know, Dibal. Uh, we indeed had a round table. It was an experts round table, actually. An and so uh, foreigners were simply invited guests, you know, to be able to attend, mm -hmm. uh, in part because they're also party to the conflict. But what was critical is just as I think uh, in the last uh, couple of days, we have seen what is already happening in terms of farming and drought in mm -hmm. this part of the continent. And so we're looking at implications that has. Uh, on, on the Horn of Africa, you know, as well as Kenya. Yes. And massively, we are going to see, I think, an increase in some of the food prices, in part because uh, we import a lot of our wheat from that part of the world. Uh, there are a number of uh, critical items are needed mm -hmm. in construction, you know, materials, in steel, that uh, is going to affect our economy. Mm -hmm. And so I think it is important to put everything into consideration and then prepare as a region, as a country, for the potential fallout, especially in so far as commodity prices and agricultural uh, uh, foods uh, are concerned, mm. because there is potential that uh, we may suffer from a level of inflation, the prices of bread and others, uh, in ways that may affect our economy. Mm -hmm. And so it, we may be facing some tough times ahead, and Kenya should be able to brace themselves. However, I think being able to make uh, an analysis of the potential impact can help us better prepare for these emergencies and perhaps uh, you know move in a different direction especially this year as we, ex we, we look forward to the long rains so that we <coughs> can cushion ourselves from such shocks mm -hmm. and perhaps try to invest even more in, uh, in, in organic and uh, our, our local foods mm -hmm. and foodstuffs because I think of reliance on wheat and other things is actually making us extremely vulnerable.